Alright, welcome back again everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. I uh, just want to make sure I got everything set right. Yep, looks good. Gameplay. Subtitles are on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Things on high, oh. There we go, that's the one I want. Oop, what the? Go back. I was wondering, the aspect seemed kind of weird. There we go, that's better. Okay. And we're back. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie Trigger Finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, Here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I find it kind of funny, you know, that they're all uh, like, okay, yeah, we're going to get you your pills when after he was going to wanted to kill the kid. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, have a look. No batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, yeah. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed.
Oh, man. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Yeah. They're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. <laughs> okay. Let's head back inside. Okay. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. One battery. she doing she's good I think she's a tough one right there she's just a little girl Ken Are you saying Lee she spent days surviving on her own that's right not just any little girl can do that what's the plan hang tight I suppose seems pretty dangerous out there so we ought to wait for things to clear up you said your family was from here in Macon that's right where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you 
guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Man, look at me. I don't know if I can carry this. What else is there to do? We made a choice, man. There wasn't much we could do. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. <sighs> I never know what to pick in these things. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it. Like you really have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not. 
not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Avoiding the question, eh? <laughs> Those are good jobs. What's your job? I teach history and writing things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated. No, it's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with this playthrough. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Find your bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Now, it hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yes, please. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. what I figured. Well, I can't do much else in here, and actually it's getting kind of long, so I will stop the video here. I know I'm not doing a lot of talking, because there's a lot of talking in the game. So, but, anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode, and as always, have a great day.